to make the romaine tea, this is what my kids will be doing, not me. I'm just showing you how it's made. Um, do you cook the water for a minute? Get the water out from the microwave. And then take a piece of romaine, break it into two halves, and put it into the cup and make it soak for a minute. See, this is what it looks like. That's actually a change in color. So it's, it's almost like a tea. I think when people drink this and they see the color and the smell, it could have a psychological effect that this thing actually works. Actually, 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 actually. But biologically, does it work in our body or not? I'm not sure. So I won't be able to see the color and I'll be pinching my nose. So I'm blinded in terms of the visual, in terms of smell of the romaine tea. Today marked the last day of the experiment. I have gone through 14 days of blind tasting of romaine tea. Every night, served by my kids. Every night, I pinch my nose and I close my eyes when drinking this. So I didn't know what I was drinking. Every morning, I would tell them the score of my uh, sleep pattern. And it ranged from 1 to 10, 1 being the lowest and 10 being the highest. And it varies. Uh, I have uh, 14 days of journal, journal right here, which they write. And they also mark whether it is a romaine tea treatment or not. And it's been 14 days of a uh, of, um, very interesting journey. Some days I slept well, some days I didn't. Some days I slept terribly. And I'm gonna look at the data and, and map it out. Um, at a glance, I'm not sure, but let's let, let the data speak. And cheers, uh, drink more water. I'm not sure whether it's romantic or not.